Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking speed model the shirt, bring it into Das Studio, turn it into a conforming clothing figure, and then see what happens. What can possibly go wrong? Yes, you can. Absolutely. No, you can download all the versions of Blender. You can do that. You have to, on the Blender website, you have to go to the download option and it'll give you, I think, the installer for Windows. That's the, that's the only thing you have there. And then you have other options. So you can click on that. You can click on other options and then you have other versions, uh, older versions, different types of versions and all kinds of things like beta versions and the non-installer version and all that. Do you know, and I don't even know if 2.91 is a particular Murphy version. It's just, I remember Blender working, you know, like uh, here, 2.83.1. Good version, nothing against it. Did everything I wanted. Never done anything with new, um, what's it called here? Brush tools. And I'm thinking, Steve, sticking with the current affairs and all that, uh, let us go and use a Genesis 8 avatar for that do i do i have one in the library even is that is that how i have done things may have been in a different folder i may just import one just as an obj so import obj marvelous projects no actually this was on the desktop i remember it's on the das test i think I think I have one in, in the library, but I've got the Clo library and the Marvel Susanna 10 library and the 9 library. One of those things. Ooh, I think uh, Twitch just hung itself. I don't know what happened. This video download error. Hope you guys can still see me. Let me see if a refresh will bring me back. Yeah, there we go. I'm back, baby. Good stuff. <laughs> Computer problems. Captain is seeing me. That is good to know. That is good to know. Good to know that you're still here, Captain. Where was that? Das test, wasn't it? There's a duck. Duck three. Oh, we had so much fun. Genesis mail. Let's use let's use a mail guy. Open as avatar. Automatically try to add arrangement points. Das scale. Let's do this thing. We had so much fun bringing a Genesis figure into Super Liminal earlier. That was just too cool. I'll go select all faces on the bottom here. I'll go and just make that a little bit darker. Like that. So we can see our cloth a little bit better. So I'm going to go and make a super simple shirt here. Might even make shorts. I don't know. Let's start with a shirt. Start with, I think, S. No, actually, I'm going to go for G. No, 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 no. This is H, isn't it? H. H is the polygon tool, I think. Simple shirt with the V-neck going down to here. Fit is going to be debatable, but it's just the concept. Awesome. Uh, I think we're going to go unfold that with the Z tool. We're going to go click that and go unfold, I think unfold with symmetric editing with sewing let's do it all like it front part back part will look pretty much exactly the same can i do that can i go and uh can i go and do no i can't do that but i'm i'm chillaxed about it i'm just going to go and copy and paste this into here and go bring this guy kind of over here and to the back. And I could spin it around or I could just go use the flip option here. Flip horizontally. Boom. Alrighty. That's that. We go like this, essay. We're going to make you a Fernando shot. No. He's uh, going to be nice. Um, okay. Bit of the old sewing line thing. Also, we could turn some of these things into curve points. We do, do we even need this point here? I'm not sure we, we even need it. That, that might just go and get in the way. We'll figure it out. So this. 
so kind of that. Is this, this is how we do this? No, that is not how we do that. <laughs> Just to be clear, that goes and soars over to here. Ah, yes, that's that's how we do that. Is it? Kind of haven't done it yet. This is never good. This goes to here. Let me show you where that is. Where where is that? There. On the outside. There we go. Perfect. Here. And then we go here. That goes to here. Okay. No worries. From here to here. Zone. Okay. Simulate. Almost, dude. <laughs> the easiest way out of things like this is to just move it up to here. So that means the simulation has a bit more, whoops, has a bit more time to sew these things together. There's other tricks. That was perhaps a little bit too far up. There's also arrangement points, of course. There we go, dude. Nice shirt. <laughs> Suits you great, my man. Suits you well, I say. I think this here, the, I'm gonna turn this into a curve point. That thing at the back here. Convert to curve point and make it less less terrible. It's always a good idea to make that not quite as super terrible. I've lost the symmetry here, but I'm, I'm super chilled about it. This might also become a curve point. Or we can leave it as a V-neck. Perhaps we're going to go leave it as a V-neck. Might just do that. I might make it a bit bigger. By maybe... 5% in all directions. One point zero, can you imagine? That would be such a cool idea. Try Blender 1.0 for a change. Wasn't there a guy who did that recently? I don't know if it was 1.0, but it was certainly something like Blender 2.4, I think. I do think so too. I mean, 279 is, um, I still have it because this is how I learned Blender as well, but it bears very little resemblance to Blender 2.8 and above. So um, it's, you know, Steve, you know Blender way better than, than any of us in this room. Uh, would you say 2.9 and 9.1 are improvements over 2.8? Or is is two point eight something you'd recommend to Rod? Because there's also there's there's another version which is um, which is the LTS versions. I don't want to confuse you too much, Rod. But there is essentially after when they started two point eight, they went into this, this overdrive. I don't know. They were they were mental. I mean, they got almost this funding, so they have it in their heads that every three months they need to release a new what they call a major new version of blender that means that's it's very unsettling for people like me who like to stick with something that is as it is and maybe there's a marginal improvement but you know once i've learned it i don't need to have an interface reshuffle every three weeks that's just not how i roll so many companies rely on blender to work and they said yeah we're happy to push features forward but we also need a version that that hangs on there for a little bit um, and so the blender team have added this thing called the blender lts version this is exactly what i was thinking you start with 2.83 lts because that will still get bug fixes but it won't get new features so it'll stay as it is and anything that is majorly broken that they find out that they'll patch in newer versions will also be patched in the lts version so that is something i might actually do as well 
I'm, I would I would probably suggest that I'm still I've, I've got this 2.83.1 and that no longer gets patched full stop but the LTS version still gets patches but the interface and the features no longer change so that is that's actually a great starting point I would imagine that's a really good idea get yourself the LTS version rod and start with that and forget about 2.9 so 2.83 LTS and, and go with that I think that's a great idea So it's baggy, that's nice. I like the bagginess. I'm still not entirely sure why I added this extra point here, but I'm also chilled out about it. I'll give the guy a few arms. The arms, I think they start with a square now. With a square that goes out like that. Yeah, actually like that, That's that's cool. Good thinking there, and it's, I find it amazing that we all have exactly that, that same idea. I think that's a really, really good idea. I loved 2.83, or the 2.8, yeah, 2.83, that was, that was the version. I loved that branch, and I'm really happy to see that turned into LTS. I might actually grab myself a version of that and, and set that up to, you know, for the future, because I'm a bit tired of getting all these, um, all these updates all the time. So this needs to go on here, technically. I could have really measured this. Let me let me do this. Let me do let me do this. This is about 23. So we're going to say 24 on this. There, delete that. S 24. Let's go 24 by 24. That's that. This needs to be twice the width because we have this on the front and we have that on the back. So I could. Whoops. I could just go and unfold this. That'll do the trick. I'll just make that a large thing. I could have done this more intelligently. There we go, but I didn't, so that's cool. Now this needs to have that bulge out. I'm gonna go and grab that curve tool and make that into a shoulder cap. This looks massive. It's not meant to be that massive. Marvelous designer. Funny how this is. I'm, I'm so pleased, Steve, that that marvelous designer kind of rekindled your uh, your spirit with 3D. That is that's really cool. It's really nice to know. We have two pieces here. We have one piece here, and we're gonna go and say Z to that, and split this into two uniform things, which now makes our segment sewing so much easier. That probably goes here. Yes, it does. And that probably, could that go here? Is that, is that correct? Of course not. What were you thinking? Of course that's not working. Perhaps this maybe, kind of this, this way. That looks the part. The arms might be a little bit long, but hey. There's also a better way to place this so that the simulation doesn't totally freak out. Like so yeah, that is that is a long sleeve. <laughs> Certainly going to make that smaller. Yeah, I'm not sure if the sewing is correct here. I think something's major, major gone wrong here. Yeah, I think this needs to be reversed. I think that's a... I think we might have to reverse that. That looks better. <laughs> so come on, dude. That is better. Yes, I agree. 2.79. Also, the interface, it's, it's funny. I never realized it that much. If I look at it now, if I look at the 2.79 interface now, I'm thinking, ooh, really? That is, that looks really dated. 
Apple are quite, they have this thing down to a T that when they, when they update interfaces, they, um, and you look at their older interfaces, literally a version back, you think, whoa, that's dated. I think the whole thing is just a bit too big. I might make that a bit smaller. 80% thinking about it. Yeah, gets rid of that puffiness here. I don't mind the long sleeves. I'm, I'm good with the long sleeves. Might even make that, give them sleeves onto here, just so that we can see stuff. Let's do that. Z drags this out and then we hit F1 because my version has a buck. Let's make that 10 centimeters more. Okay, maybe more. Okay, no worries. Maybe, I think 10 more is probably a bit much, but five more. We can live with that. There. Not bad. And now we're going to go sew this together and also grab these two points. Make them a bit, you know, make them a bit... Put them together. Oh, how do we do this again? This was another thing. And it's still raining. Oh my goodness, Steve, that's crazy. That's what happens in the summer, isn't it? All the water just rises up, sticks up in the air, needs to come down, cools down. Do you guys have hurricanes down there where you are? I can imagine. How do we do this again? I think this was, what's this with Z and then you do that? No, what's this with the point tool then? That's what it was. Double click that and then just go and move these guys together. And let's say 60. Is that, is that cool? Is that a bit too fitted? T -t -t -t. Looks like a jacket sleeve now. Yeah, maybe that was a bit too much. Let's make it 70. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's quickly, before anyone notices, let's put sew this thing together from here to there and go simulate. Boom! All right. That's one sleeve done. This is fun. I have to be brutally honest with you. I don't know why this is fun for me, but this is fun for me. Cyclones. Aye, caramba. You did already, Steve. That's cool. <laughs> Very cool. Oh yeah, and did you check out the the guy who sells patterns for four ninety nine on ArtStation? I followed him. My goodness, let's let's have a let's have a quick interlude here before we get uh, before we do that other that other arm there. ArtStation across the nation. I followed him literally for that reason. Are we, are we signing in here? Come on, baby. I'm not that familiar with ArtStation, but no, I don't want to win a $100 gift card, but uh, is there a way for me to see who I'm following? See, because if you have, if you have something set up that you're selling, I can promote it via my affiliate link. This is crazy good. I can promote Travis's stuff. So any stuff that's being sold on ArtStation, I can promote via my affiliate link, make cash in the process. It's just great. So, you know, for you, it's great selling on ArtStation because you have a large following on ArtStation. You can sell side by side of where people are looking. Where are the connections? That's, that might be it. Connections. Following. I've got 16 followers. This is cute. Sizzle, sir. Brian Kramer, he, he's good. Look at that, Steve Davis. All right. Pablo Palabarro. That's how you have to pronounce it. It's not Pablo de Barro, it's Palabarro. It's important to, <laughs> to do that. Where is somebody? Lux, Lux, Lux. Lux, Lux, that's him. I Iceland. And they have a store with a lot of marvelous designer patterns. $4.99 or more, so you can give more. A very, very cool. Thank you, Steve. You gotta feed the cat, no worries. 
4.99 per pattern. I mean, just to figure out, hey, have you done it? Also, for those of us who were who use Marvelous Designer, the thing is, a 4.99 pattern. I have more fun with that than a 20, 25 dollar, 15 dollar Das Studio product that is then limiting in some in some respect. I'd much rather buy this and then make it fit to whatever avatar I want. I understand it's not quite as convenient. But if you have Marvelous Designer, I mean, look at this, it's that $4.99, every of these patterns. I say, looks, Lux looks. I thought that was kind of, yeah, absolutely, I thought that was kind of, you know, very, very cool. Yes, the latest one. Uh, rot exactly grab the latest one of LTS so LTS is it's just when there's a new version they just leave the old version there that you got that but um, the the latest versions it'll be exactly the same plus bug fixer so and it's 2.83 rather than 3.8 interlude over let's go back to marvelous designer with this selected I say copy I say no I don't I say Symmetric pattern with sewing. Put that kind of over here. And then I just make sure that this doesn't overlap with anything else. Marvelous designer makes me happy. I don't really know why. <laughs> I can't explain it. Boom! Second sleeve! What's your feeling? Shall we leave it here or shall we make shorts as well and try to bring both items into Das Studio? I mean, right now we have something that we can bring in. I'm kind of good with that. Oh, hang on a minute. That's that's not looking so hot here. Let's make it look hotter. Is this even sewn on? No, this is not sewn on here, is it? Is this sewn on then? Yeah, that's sewn on. My man's not sewn on. So some sewing lines have been mirrored, others have not. We're cool about it. We just move on and say, okay, whatever. <laughs> I will understand in another life when we're both cats. <laughs> that is exactly what I was thinking. That isn't cheating at all. No, absolutely not. Do you know there is actually something about clothing design in real life? I don't I don't know how this applies in in the digital world, but in real life you can't copyright a garment. Like you can copyright a trademark or a or software or a name or a logo. You can trademark all these things. You can't trademark a pattern as such. Which is why the fashion industry is so secretive. So this hasn't... I think the same principles apply to 3D patterns. So you... you I mean, this is why there's, there's no real crime going on. If somebody knocks off the latest Gucci piece and sells it as, I don't know, Muchi or whatever. And it's, it's just... The, Gucci can't really do anything about that because you can't patent a pattern, if I understand this correctly. You can't patent a piece of designer clothing. Not happening. It's not possible. And I think in the, in the 3D world, I think it's the same with 3D garments. I don't think you can do that. So it should be perfectly fine if you... If you make amendments and then resell it because it's technically that's just what what happens in the real life fashion industry this looks smashing i love it i'm especially i'm, I'm not telling i'm not sure why i put this extra point in here i might get rid of that i don't i don't even know why i did that <laughs> this here this this point here, or this point here rather i might go get rid of this point I get rid of it what happens to the sewing is that gonna all be an issue no sewing will still will remain I don't know if this was better for fit or whatnot I don't actually recall 
Let's see which version we like best. We can always bring it back. Yeah, I think the previous version. Yeah, let's make the give it give it that extra point back there. Give me my point back. Hmm. LTS, all right. Rod goes blender. So help us all. I remember my first time looking at Blender. 2.4 series that was. I'm gonna go and decrease the particle distance here to 10. Give a little bit more geometry like. Resimulate. Get all nice crinkles here. This, I, I'm not sure if, I, I kind of like the point, it's just not in the right place. So let me go and, and grab those two points and just go drag them down a little bit. And do the same with these two points here. I don't even know why I put them in there, but somehow I like it. To about here, I don't know, something like that. Let's see. Simulate. Don't, don't, oh, this one side hasn't done it. That is, that's totally uncool. I meant to do this with both. And Marvis has done it. Doesn't let me want to, doesn't want to do that. That's, that's a shame, isn't it? So these, them two. And then I think I have to go and use the transform point segment thing. This is going well, isn't it? Man, you move down to, I don't know, here, whatnot, 19, whatnot. Loving it that sometimes symmetry is there, other times, well, no, not today, Jay. We, we just don't have it anymore. Okay, good. No worries. Okay. I get you, buddy. Convert to curve point. I'm going to do this as a, as a curve. That might improve the fit down here. Much like you, my dear friend, and you curve point and that's that's still got symmetry i think it's because i've removed the point over here that removes the symmetry so there is method to the madness <laughs> amazing isn't it the 2.4 ui well i think this is a good start i think this is great we can use this and make sure we save our project and then let's bring this into desk studio and see what happens yeah, I, I remember those were the days when I, uh, I, I remember people were talking about Blender and it was the 3D open source app and, and this was kind of the time where Carrara was still kind of up there as one of the good programs and, um, and Blender was kind of the underdog and it had this reputation of being really difficult. And it's defended that reputation to this day, actually. <laughs> Test shirt, I'm going to call it. Shirt with an I. Thank you. Yeah, right. I remember 2.5. That was the big, the big change. And then that's the one that we retained up until 2.79, right? That was, that was kind of that type of the interface. We're not going to worry about maps right now. We go and say export, uh, well, actually, select everything. Export OBJ selected. And this is also under Marvelous Projects, DAS test. I will go and actually make a new folder here and call it OBJ. Test. Sure, maybe it's called shirt. Shirt V1. 
because I predict though there shall be many, many more. <laughs> Select all patterns, yes. Avatars, no. Single object, yes. Unweld, uh, I don't know if that still cares. Let's leave it unweld and thin. Unified UV coordinates, no maps, please. Scale Dash Studio, save with absolute texture paths. We don't care, but that's cool. UV maps we haven't done yet. Could actually do that. Let's, let's do proper UVs before we, before we do that. UV editor. And we're just gonna go do all of these and fit to UV zero to one. Brilliant work. Leave 80% of the tile free. That's that's gonna make the textures look really good. Thank you, Marvelous Designer. Top notch work here. Top notch. <laughs> Rod, as you get into Blender, you'll really appreciate the tools it has to offer. Like one of those, this, so th what we've just seen here, that's a, that's a really bad packing algorithm. A blender has a really, really good one. So if you do UVs in Blender and your UVs are kind of all over the place and shapes and sizes, you just select them all and you go pack, pack UV islands. And it does a smashing job at literally calculating what's the most efficient space here. And then you can go ahead and turn them, tweak them if you wanted to do that. But Blender really helps you with that. There, that's a little bit better. I'll give you one more chance. Fit to UV one. There we go. That's that's a little bit better. But now also you've scaled one and not the other. That's also not quite good. I mean, how difficult is it to just do that? There we go. That's that's better. After human intervention. <laughs> Brian, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh do you know we should do this um going forward when i'm back online next week we should just for a laugh we should spend a bit of time getting out zbrush speaking of rancid interfaces that's that's gonna be great because you like sculpting brian it's a great sculpting program and the interface if you think blender is is a little bit of a weird one to figure out have a look at ZBrush. We're, we're going to do this together. Don't buy it. My goodness, don't buy it. I have it. I haven't. I have never really used it. But let's have fun with the interface and see if we can work this out. It's just a complete brain melt kind of approach to 3D applications. It is literally. It is. It is unbelievable. It is. It's so it's designed for people. It's a bit like marvelous design in that respect. It's it's not designed like a 3D program at all. But the whole approach is different. So there's something that every program does. It's kind of a contract almost. You install a piece of software. You have a menu here at the top, and you click on these items, and a drop down comes. And there's there's English text in a reasonable you know thing that explains what things do and in addition to that you have icons and you maybe have preferences and stuff on the right hand side and that's really how software works i mean every 3d software and zbrush shot now nah, we're not going to do it that way we're just gonna we're just not gonna have those things we're just gonna have we're just gonna have a more intuitive approach to stuff it's almost like i'd like to i'd like to see an interface that there's no words you just have to make a facial impression expression to the webcam and then the program does something Alrighty, let's go and exp export this now shirt v1 and so now the uvs that i've set they'll be acknowledged that way all patterns single object unweld we'll try that thin unified uv co coordinate no maps, DAS, save with absolute texture. There we go, DAS scale. All right, quickly save my project here as well. Save project. Uh, 
yeah, I, I think Rod, unless you're you're really into sculpting things, um, are you good with a Wacom pen? So it might be it might be good in your hands. But unless you're really into creating those kinds of things, content-wise, I think it's I think it's um, it's lost on me. I I thought I was um, I was gonna. At the time, it had some very cool features that weren't readily available, like an amazing remesher, and there was all the sculpting features. You could try something called Sculptress. That's a free version that they have. Uh, it's it's not exactly like ZBrush, but it has you know similar ideas. Let me go and import my shirt now. That's to do 4.14. Import. Marvelous projects, uh, DAS test, OBJ's shirt version one, import. And I'll just use the regular DAS Studio thing to import things. There we go, shirt in DAS Studio. All right. Let's go and add ourselves immediately a filament draw node and set the environmental thing down to 4000 so that we can actually see something there it's the shirt it has come across that is cool amen to that totally agree okay so now we need my main man here which is genesis 8 the man essentially and we're not going to go filter by content we're just going to go um figures perhaps and i will use the def rig here def rig is the same guy without the textures so he should work and he has the same rigging information and everything there we go so the shirt doesn't isn't quite in the same position that is that's super interesting already but i don't think it matters all that much i thought i thought it would i thought it would be in the actual zero position is it not is it not parameters no it is zeroed out that's bizarre so it does fit him it's just the z translation is kind of off hmm curious but it's okay, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to go and use our trusty old friend, the transfer utility, to bring the rigging from the Genesis figure over to my shirt. So right now, I think I can also see that this is an OBJ. That little box thing means it's an OBJ. This thing, like uh, whatever that is, the three boxes thing means it's a rigged figure. But this is a prop right now. My shirt is a prop. So I think I can go do this from this this special menu here is it create it's on here somewhere no it's not actually it's edits no it's not actually it's assets transfer utility that's the one boom this is now scary transfer utility source item will be genesis 8 mail item shape default scene item shirt v1 also seen projection template knee length dress it is kind of that full body here yeah it's kind of a knee length dress isn't it or none will also work it's also show options here that that gives us a little bit more to play with fit to source figure parent to source figure now nah, i'm not into the parenting thing let's not do that add smoothing modifier yes let's do that that's cool okay fine parent don't parent actually don't worry about it uh, weight map, selection map, face groups, region groups, morph targets, surface groups, reverse source shape from target, replace source with target. These are all scary options. No. Distance tolerance. Let's leave it as it is. And just go hope for the best. Interesting. So it looks like perhaps it is something that Marvelous Designer does. I see this is the first thing that we should maybe just be aware of. See if we can do something something to that on subsequent exports. So I've modeled it around the 
character that I brought in, but it could well be that. Yeah, interesting. Let me run this tool, see what happens. Scary and that doesn't fit, does it? <laughs> so maybe the tolerances should have been should have been larger. So yeah, that's 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 off. <laughs> Is this fit it 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 it? Is it yes yeah, fit no uh, fit shirt to Genesis eight male yeah there we go so it is fitted but it's just you know that doesn't really doesn't really do it for me really <laughs> push shirt I have a feeling it has to do with the avatar and how it comes in to Marvelous Designer in the first place. I think if the avatar is in the correct position and you model around that, I think the shirt will also be in the correct position on export. I think the issue would have perhaps been the avatar, the avatar's position. I'm thinking, is there anything we can do here? Move avatar to center. Does that do anything? Does nothing. Reset joints. Does that do something? Totally doesn't. Deactivate. Because I didn't change the position. I literally just exported that guy uh, out of Das Studio and imported him as an OBJ in here. So why there should be a shift? That's interesting to begin with. Oh, is it? Rod, it's trending. You are Randy Rod is his artist of the year, after all. Oh, that's interesting. The good thing is we can literally just try this on a different avatar and see what, what happens then. There's also the option in Das Studio. I think we can, we can go, if we just go remove that shirt. And bring in the next shirt. Try that again. Yeah, so it comes in at the wrong position. So Z forward. Whoops, no, that's that scale, isn't it? Oops, sorry about that. Z translate. Just to work this out, but it says it's 3.36. So let's call it 3.5. I'll go reset it again. But if I go and run the the thing tool again here, transfer utility, I can maybe just go and increase the the tolerance a little bit to namely 3.5. How about that? It's worth a try. It's probably not not a good workaround, but At least we're, we're getting something. Smoothing modifier and boom. See if it works. It does not. <laughs> you are for you. Yeah, I are famous. Yeah. And of course it doesn't. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be too good, wouldn't it? So. Moving the shirt. Didn't work into the correct position. I've tried that as well, of course. But let's try that again. And don't parent anything to anything, dude, please. So Z translate, let's say 3.36 as it was. Maybe 3.32. It's almost there, isn't it? So it's, it's almost there. So it is now in the correct position. Go and try this again. Come on. Leave that tolerance on thingy. Add that and see if that has worked. No, it hasn't worked. It just, it always goes back into its original position, which is not where we wanted it to be. 
interesting. Thank you, Marvelous Designer, for screwing up my shirt. Well, why don't we, shall we try to move it and then apply that position in Blender? Is that a cool idea? Blender is a whole new, whole new other rabbit hole to fall down to. Oh, move the guy. That's an, that's an idea. That's an idea, Brian. Let's try that. Because I've also heard that you're supposed to, uh, that you're supposed to zero the figure, like not so much my shirt, but but this guy now. Oh, come on, just select, man. So difficult. And there's some some option, some menu somewhere. Could even be here, like zero figure, figure zero, something like that. Edit figure. Geometry, memorizer zero. There we go, zero figure. Boom. Don't know if it makes much of a difference. It looks pretty zero to me already. And this isn't a figure, so we can't zero that. But yeah, let's go and move this guy now into into kind of here, dude. Like that. We've got the creepy music going. That's that's perfect for this transfer utility to shirt and uh, smoothing modifier. Good stuff. Accept and doesn't work either. See, if there's another export option in Marvelous Designer from this and if that doesn't work either I can bring in the same guy from that studio export him again maybe something changed and then we'll, we'll just have this pattern can easily be refitted in marvelous designer see what happens if I go export obj selected I'm gonna call this one shirt v2 a new and improved v shirt 2.0 is there anything else here? Patterns, object, unwelled thin, unified, whatever. Axis conversion, no. There's really nothing I can do here. So it's gotta be the position of the avatar in the scene. <laughs> Time for drinks, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab my avatar, get rid of him. In fact, delete everything and just grab my dev load out again just so that he is in the center i'm just hoping he is do i need to export him low res i don't think so export my man into into here das test G8M dev thing. Dev, what's it called here? Dev, dev, just dev, perfect. And custom will just be turned into DAS and we want to not write any services. Don't worry about it. Perfect. Boom. At this position, import the guy. Import add OBJ. And we can say this guy. And we're saying add as avatar as you know this align bottom to ground so i don't I, i'm gonna go and untick this that could have been could have been the issue here and translation yeah i'm just gonna untick that translation zero perfect okay if there was a problem yes look at that oh my goodness look at that so that was the issue that is good to know so now the shirt is also in the wrong place that is perfect. So that would mean there was an issue with the guy. I can make you a little bit darker once again. Put you into charcoal territory. We're getting there, gentlemen. Totally getting there. This just goes over here a little bit. And then we're going to have a little fitting session. There we go. 
Getting all the wrinkles in the right places. Perfection. Speed model shirt in the correct position. Did we give up? No, we did not. Did we need Blender? No, we did not. <laughs> Quickly save the project before something goes wrong. You, you, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But maybe that was exactly where we went wrong. So ha 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 ha. Good stuffs. Export. OBJ selected. Call it shirt v3. Where's shirt v2? Where did that go? I'm easy. It's cool. No diffuse things, single object, unweld, thin, scale, unified, whatever. That's perfect. We're totally getting there. Now, my good man, the Genesis 8 Devrick, would you like shirt number three? Yeah, it looks like shirt number two wasn't saved. We're chilled about it. We don't we don't really we don't really mind. Yes, it happens all the time. No, we no longer care. <gasps> shirt in the perfect position. Okay, that's that's progress. That is quite exciting, isn't it? <laughs> yes, only one. Any of them at any time with any feature. <laughs> well, now comes the hard part. Let's see what happens if we go use this menu here and say assets, transfer, utility. Show all them scary options. Use Genesis 8 mail as a source. Use our shirt version 3 as a target. Uh, parent, all good. Add smoothing modifier. Okay, wish us luck here. Accept and... To the untrained eye, it seems nothing's changed, but... Ah, unweldedness. Yeah, uncool. So shirt V4 is already on its way. We need to have this welded. Otherwise, we have stuff like that. That's not... Certainly for, for D force, not good. And this is now created by the smoothing modifier here. That's why the, the geometry kind of collapses, falls in on itself, so... But for the principle, if we go give my man a pose here... Does the shirt follow? Certainly does. Certainly has all the smoothing modifiers in the correct place. But yeah, this is caused by not welding. That's not bad. For a two second job. <laughs> well, that's two, when I say two second, two hours, right? <laughs> well then. My dear friend, let's go stand you back up. Give me that shirt. You're going to get a new one. You're going to get a much better one. Don't you worry about it. It's already in the making. Shirt number 4.0 is coming up right now. OBJ selected. Short V4. Single object weld. Thin. Don't worry about them textures. Boom. <laughs> Sunday holy shirt. I like it. Let's bring you in as well. Okay, so we've learned something new today. This is nice. Do not ever align anything to the ground ever unless you're absolutely 100% sure you know what you're doing. It's good to know. Genesis 8 mail source. Shirt V4, smoothing modifier, and there's the shirt. No more issues with things peeling off there. It's weld, it's, it's parented already. Let me go and do this, and my man, my man's shirt. It's doing an okay job. Okay, next step. Add DeForce properties. No, stay away from DeForce. End on a high note. Be happy that this worked. What I do like is that when you do all these, all these poses here, 
all the crinkles remain so that's that's very nice it's also currently it looks like we don't have to employ any uh, any joint correction morphs i mean yeah finger fine that's just one of those one of those things we just have to go move it away and it no longer pokes through that's kind of nice so the joint correction morphs may be necessary as you start dialing in full body morphs so joint correction morphs just to just to you know if in case you don't know what that is it, if your figure has a special morph with a special name that the clothing doesn't have and that morph is dialed in on the figure and Das Studio is trying to dial the same morph in on the clothing and it detects that clothing doesn't have that morph it'll create it it'll create some rubbish that's not going to work and then it'll dial that up and that's when you sometimes see I don't know geometry collapsing and weird artifacts on the shirt and that is what happens with the say say this like the michael morph if i go and see if i can create the dial in the michael morph here we go and make the guy stand up again and the michael morph is not part of my shirt if there's a thing in the michael morph that that cr should be there that studio is trying to dial it in the clothing it doesn't find it it creates it around similar geometry and it then usually doesn't have much success oh there's a balloon morph that's cool oh that's still in there that i should really take that out so, that's cool so this this seems to work that's nice um actor there we are and the uh, full body someone like someone like we can just go dial michael in i guess is michael even installed on here he he may not be this brute brute's good let's go that's good let's do brute and we want to apply this to the selected figure yes let's do that Ooh, brute with a shirt so no joint correction morphs needed brute just works Hey, that's pretty impressive. I had last time I tried that. I was all I was I was having all kinds of issues. I feel like we need to make you some shorts now, my friend. <laughs> Don't we? Because you know what's the brute without shorts? And we can probably find some for you. But it'd be nice if we could have homemade shorts. Yeah, how about some boxers? Boxers, not briefs. Don't we have boxers? We don't have boxes. That's a box. Boxes. There we go. Let's put some boxes on. There we go. That's nice. That's cool. Ah, yeah. See, this is a morph we can now add in something like Blender. That we just make the bottom bit a little bit wider, and that's just a morph we can then create. This is a, actually a good good example. We could try that maybe next time. And on a high note, and all. <laughs> I can also with the shirt selected. That's a that's an even better idea. Where is the shirt? The shirt's here under parameters. In mesh smoothing up here. Oh, if I'm allowed to. No, not allowed to go there. What a shame. <laughs> you can't, in mesh smoothing, you can say what is the shirt supposed to collide with. And you can say, make it collide with the shorts. And then the shirt will be on top of the shorts. So that, then Das Studio is going to uh, smooth this out. Yes, exactly. That's, that's how it works, Rod. Well, almost ended on a high note, ended on a program crash. But hey, Brute wears the shirt. I'm I'm excited. Brute's in filament and everything. It's good. Ah. Well, hey, this is nice. We can do more with this. Let's make more clothing next time we're here. Let's make a sh make, make a pair of shorts from scratch. Let's put that into Das Studio while I still have my marvelous design a trial here. I mean, I do have version. Uh, 9.5 so it'll just work fine with 9.5 but hey look at that we've learned something today don't put and then dash crashes yeah don't center your figure when you import it do not center it on the ground if there's a tick box in marvelous designer do not do this Alrighty, my friends i'm gonna say good night tonight uh i'm not gonna be here tomorrow i'm not gonna be here on tuesday i might be back wednesday i might not be depending on how it all goes but yeah tomorrow i'm gonna take everything off 
Tuesday we're having Windows fitted. I might be back online on Wednesday, but hey, one of those things I will let you know on Discord. Have a wonderful, wonderful night, my friends, and a wonderful day in your case, Steve. I'll see you very soon. Enjoy 3D. Very important. Take care. Bye-bye.